The New Jersey Devils are evil incarnate, and I mean that in the best way. With a roster that's absolutely chock full of young and exciting talent, the Devils cemented themselves among hockey's elite teams last year before falling to a superior foe, the Carolina Hurricanes, in the playoffs. Expectations for the Devils entering the 23 24 season are sky high, with many New Jersey fans imagining a dynasty like the one they had in the late 90s and early 2000s. But I am not one of them. New Jersey Devils, here's why I hate your stupid f team. I never heard of half of these guys. The ones I do know are way past the prime. Most of these guys never had a prime. This guy here is dead. Cross him off then. The Devils forward core is the envy of the rest of the NHL. They have the perfect mix of star power, youth, and experience. Jack Hughes is obviously the engine that drives the train, along with Captain Nico Heischer and Jesper Ratt. And young forwards like Dawson Mercer and Alexander Holtz will get the chance to play more protected minutes in the middle six. With older skilled players like Timo Meyer, Tyler Toffoli, Eric Halla, and Andre Palat, the Devils can hit you from just about any position in that top nine. And their bottom six with Tomas Nosek, Michael McLeod, and Curtis Lazar is still a very good and effective fourth line. In truth, there's not really a weakness in any of these forward lines. On defense, the Devils are a little bit more of a work in progress. Yeah, they have Dougie Hamilton, who is a solid top pairing defenseman to go with Jonas Siegenthaler, but then they have guys like John Marino and Brendan Smith in the bottom two pairings. They are paired with two very promising young defensemen in Luke Hughes and Kevin Ball out, but as of right now, those bottom two pairings are still a question mark. But not as big a question mark as the guy between the pipes. Akira Schmidt stepped in in the playoffs and played masterfully, but at 23 years of age, he's still an unproven commodity, and Vitek Vanacek, who played most of the games for the Devils last year in the regular season, is really more of a low-floor, low-ceiling type of goaltender. He's not going to steal you too many games, but he also won't be the reason that you lose a lot of the time. Got an idea. It's veteran coach and Jack Adams and Ward nominee Lindy Ruff, or as he's been known more recently, the guy that New Jersey Devils fans wanted fired halfway through last season. Pictured here, watching from his tower as a peasant gets executed, Ruff has had an incredible tenure as a head coach in Buffalo and Dallas, but the results in New Jersey were a bit more mixed up until last year. Surprisingly though, it seems like Lindy Ruff is kind of on a year-to-year -year basis in Jersey. Even though he's got a team that is poised to compete for Stanley Cup, there is a real sentiment that if things don't go their way, he could could be out on his ass. And if that's the case, I think there are going to be about 20 teams that would want to call him up. Who the hell are you? I'm the new guy. The big acquisition this offseason was the trade of Igor Sharangovich to Calgary for Tyler Toffoli. Toffoli is still a very productive top six forward and should be a good complement for Jack Hughes on the top line. They also signed a couple of depth forwards in Tomasz Nosek, good signings who fit the mold of what the Devils kind of want to be very aggressive on the fort check while still bringing a little bit of skill. You, you gay Irish fireman, you... You're okay, but you, you, I do not like. If I was to buy a jersey of any NHL player not on my Capitals, it would 100% be Jack Hughes. I love this guy, the way he plays. He's got some moxie and swag. Watching him skate is an absolute joy, and of all of the Hughes brothers, I think he's going to end up being the best. But Jack's a human highlight reel. At 22 years of age, he's already cemented himself in my mind as one of the 5 to 10 best forwards in hockey. And I can't wait to watch him for another 10 to 15 years, hopefully all on the Devils, because they are one of my favorite teams, other than the Caps. There is no reason the Devils shouldn't be able to go on a long run and maybe win the Stanley Cup. Oh, okay, I lied. There are two big reasons. Their bottom four defensemen and their goaltending. If Akira Schmidt is who he proved to be in the playoffs last year, and we could see it for a whole 82-game regular season, if Kevin Ball and Luke Hughes do blossom into the players that we think that they are going to be this year, yeah, the Devils are 100% contenders for the Cup. Even if they're not, they're still young enough that I think their window is wide open for another at least three to five years. The New Jersey dynasty is making a comeback, and I can't wait to see it. One on one, Brat twisting, finds Hamilton. He scores. Dougie Hamilton, an overtime.